Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We have wind, but are we happy and thankful we don't have rain? We have this beautiful day of sunshine in this beautiful place. Welcome to our service for the blessing of the fleet. My name is Father Tom White. It is my joy and my privilege to serve the people of the Episcopal Church of St. John the Baptist in Milton, Delaware. Founded, the church founded in 19, 1728. 1728. Water is a special gift and blessing of God. Water cleanses, water gives us food, water gives us life. And we gather around water today, water over which our vessels that we're about to bless travel, vessels that protect us and bring us food and vessels that transport us and vessels that give us times of recreation. So we are celebrating those vessels today and we are blessing them. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, at the very dawn of creation, your spirit hovered over the waters. You made them teem with life, and you gave humankind dominion over the land and the sea. Help us to exercise this dominion wisely for the good of all peoples. Help us to rejoice in the splendor of your world and let us give thanks to you for its beauty. Help us to realize that we are made in your image. We are but a part of the world you have made and are but stewards of your creation. We ask your presence and blessing today as we bless this fleet. Help us to treasure the land and the sea and help us to remember we are always sustained by your amazing grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'd like to read portions of Psalm 107, the sailor's psalm. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the mighty waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven, they went down to the depths, their courage melted away in their calamity. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad because they had quiet, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. Let them extol him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. The reading from the Holy Gospel is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter eight. When Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. A windstorm arose on the sea, 
so great that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke Jesus, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. And he said to them, why are you afraid, you of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a dead calm. They were amazed, saying, what sort of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Let us pray. Today we gather to bless these ships and these boats, those who work on them, those who protect our country, those who protect our citizens, those who provide food from these waters, and those who use these waters for family and pleasure. Most gracious Lord, who numbered among your apostles the fishermen Peter, Andrew, James, and John, we pray you to consecrate these boats to righteous work and peaceful play in your name. Guide the captains at the helm. So prosper their voyages that an honest living may be made. Watch over all passengers and crews and bring them to a safe return. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon all the vessels that sail from this port and who come aboard this day and forever. Almighty God, we give thanks for all those who work at sea. We acknowledge our need for the food they catch and the raw materials they transport. We recognize that they are sometimes in danger and their long absences often involve sacrifices in their family life. Help us to show our gratitude not only in our words, but also in our actions through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, we pray for the shipping industry, for those who build, own, and manage ships Give them the will to care for those who go to sea and grant to all who work at sea the blessings of safe ships, good food, and a just reward for their work through Jesus Christ our Lord. We pray, O oh God, for all seafarers as they fulfill the duties and face the dangers of their calling, the officers, men and women of the Navy, the Coast Guard, police and fire rescue, the pilots and all who carry out the services of docks and harbors. Grant them your strength and your protection and keep them in the hours of special need. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. And now we will have the, uh, the blessing of the ships.